For the second night in a row, Fox News host Tucker Carlson used his exclusive access to more than 40,000 hours of video from January 6th to create an alternative reality of what many witnessed and experienced on that day. Capitol Hill police, in some cases, escorted protesters through the Capitol as if they were giving a tour. More than 100 officers were hurt during the riot. Five people died, and at least 1,000 people have been arrested. But Carlson chose to use the footage to downplay the violence while accusing the January 6th Select Committee of lying about what happened. In free countries, governments do not lie about protests as a pretext to gain more power. Some Republicans taking issue with how the host framed the violence. I think it's bullshit that it was not just some rowdy, peaceful protest of Boy Scouts. The Fox News host also accusing Capitol Police of willfully ignoring some of the attacks and even claimed without evidence the federal government had operatives in the crowd to fuel the violence. Capitol Police Chief Tom Manger calling the report, quote, filled with offensive and misleading conclusions about the January 6th attack. It was a mistake, in my view, for Fox News to depict this in a way that's completely at variance with what our chief law enforcement official here at the Capitol thinks. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, who gave Carlson access to the footage, doubling down on his decision. I said at the very beginning, transparency. And so what I wanted to produce for everybody is exactly what I said. It all comes as more internal communications have been made public as part of a Dominion Voting Systems defamation lawsuit against the network. They reveal Fox hosts, including Tucker Carlson, were increasingly uncomfortable with the way that Trump was lying about the 2020 election. We are very, very close to being able to ignore Trump most nights. I truly can't wait, Carlson texted an unknown person on January 4th, 2021, adding, I hate him passionately.